What's up, y'all? It's me, clearly. Um, I actually just did this video. I would like y'all to know that. And, um, I'm a little bit frustrated, which is what this video was about a little bit. Um, but I'm frustrated because I decided to use my webcam because I didn't feel like setting up my actual camera. And, um, it had me talking like this. So that irritated me because I took 15 minutes to get some stuff off my chest. And now I can't even show it to y'all. I'm just going to have to redo it because my webcam. Alright, so let's just get into it. And, um, not the point of this video. Just wanted to get some stuff off my chest, kind of throw some things off of people. Things of that nature. Okay. <coughs> We're going to get to that cough in a second. Okay. Alright, so, you know, you all know me. Y'all know everything about me, but you all know me, and I'm pretty comfortable with you all, so, you know, I just want to share some things. Well, one particular thing in particular. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my bulletin boards, and, like, I never noticed, like, my push pins. I usually don't have this one light on because I record during the day, but my push pins look real cute. I'm sorry. Don't, don't pay me any mind. Um, yeah, okay. Lately, I've been frustrated with a lot of things, and the fact of the matter is, you all know, um, I'm just getting out of a relationship, and within my relationship, um, I was kind of, I was in this box, in this little box, in this little world, and within this little world, I couldn't do, um, anything, no, I, well, I could do stuff within the world, but nothing without, I mean, I don't know if you get what I'm saying, so let me just tell you. Basically, um, I wasn't allowed, for lack of a better word, I wasn't allowed to do anything without my partner. I wasn't allowed to go anywhere, I wasn't allowed to be around anyone, it just had to be about my partner. Now, I made the choice to, um, deal with that. Um, hey, whatever, you know, my partner wanted is whatever my partner got. Literally. Um, so, yeah. I, I was in that type situation, and it's like now, I, um, I enjoy being outside of this, uh, outside of this box, outside of this world, but at the same time, I'm lost, and I'm kind of like, you know, what am I to do now? Like, what, what can I do? Um, and it's not even what, really what can I do, it's just, I'm starting over, and it's hard, because I was in this for five years, and, and that's a long time for me. And, um, I was in this for five years, so within that five years, I was, I allowed myself, I'm trying to say it that way, so that I, I am taking responsibility for my own actions as well. Um, I allowed myself to be somewhat stripped of everything. Like, just stripped down, like bare, to the point where I'm, I, I, don't, I just don't have anything right now. And I'm not saying anything, because people be like, oh, you do have a lot. I get all of that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, I was so stripped down that now I'm at a loss, and I have to rebuild from that. You know, we live, we learn, we grow. That's fine. So it's kind of hard. And um, with that being said, it's like a lot of times, I'm, I'm, you know, you got people around you, but at the same time, you still feel lonely, you know? And lately, I've kind of been like that. Like, during the week... I'm pretty good, I'm just like, you know, whatever, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. But then once the weekend comes, I'm like, damn. I, I don't have nothing to do, I don't have nobody to hang out with because I eliminated and stopped those things because I was inside of that box. And, um, I'm like, that. you know, I don't have anywhere to go, I don't have anybody to hang out with. Um, I'm bored, out of my skull. I'm lonely. Like... Wow. And I know things change and all of that, but I mean, every once in a while I should be allowed to feel some kind of way, right? Shouldn't I? So, I say all that to <laughs> get to the point, and I hope you all can kind of follow. If you hear jangling, jangling, that's the cat. She likes to run into my room and bother me. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but the point is, okay, so I'm talking to a friend today. Actually, we were supposed to hang out. Um, yeah, I'm in the house, so we didn't go anywhere. 
Because she be bluffing. She really be bluffing. Now, this is really honest to goodness, friend. It's not nothing else. Whatever. But we've known each other about eight, nine years. So we were supposed to hang out today. Needless to say, it didn't happen. And within us discussing, trying to figure out, you know, where we're going to go, I just basically wanted to go somewhere and eat. <coughs> like, to be honest, like, because I, on purpose, I did not eat anything for a while because I'm like, well, if we're supposed to be going out, I'm not going to eat at home and then eat there. But I just finished eating, y'all, so y'all know. I ate, I had um, a boca burger, okay? I had a boca burger for my Hugh Wham people. Um, but um, we were supposed to go out. And like I said, we didn't, and we were trying to figure out places to go, and I guess within trying to figure out, to, you know, where to go or whatever, she was like, well, what's wrong with you? Why are you so frustrated? Da -da -da -da. And I'm like explaining to her, I'm just like, I'm just frustrated with a lot of things right now, and the main thing is, I'm just bored. You know, I'm bored. I want to get out of this house. I want to have fun for once. Like, I, I haven't been able to have fun in so long. Like, it just, you know, I wasn't allowed I, I just I keep saying aloud, so if y'all know a better word, let me know. And I hope this video don't cut off. I'm trying to talk faster, but it's not working. But, um, for lack of a better word, I wasn't really allowed to go anywhere to really hang out and stuff like that. So I'm kind of like trying to get back into it. Girl, get from over there. Ay! Layla. So, then it turns into, sorry, pick up the page. It turns into this conversation of, well, you can't be frustrated all the time. You can't be down. You can't, um, you can't blame people for things that they did and things like that. First of all, how can you, wh why? Why can't I blame people for things that they did? Why is it that people can't be held accountable for what the, what did, uh, held accountable for the things that they did when I'm personally saying I allowed some of those things, so I'm holding myself accountable, so why can't you hold yourself accountable? Why can't that person be held accountable for anything that they did? You know? So, okay. Like, well, you can't be down all the time. You can't be upset. You can't be sad all the time. You know, things are going to get better. Da, da, da. You know what everything, everybody says. And I understand that. That's not my point. But my thing is, how come I'm not allowed to be frustrated for one day? For one day, I can't be frustrated? You don't know that 98% of the time I'm fine. But today, let me feel how I want to feel. Why am I not allowed that? Now, coming from that, I'm going to go to the cough. You all know I've been sick. And I said by the end of the week, if the cough was not gone, I was going to go see a doctor. I did. Here are my hospital bands. The red one is for allergies. You can see it says allergy alert, I guess. And then the white one is, like, the other one with my name and stuff. Um, so I did go. I have bronchitis, yes, but I have medication, y'all. So I'm taking my meds, and I should be good soon, all right? Um, a reason why I stayed kind of sick for a while is, sorry, not endorsing them, but grape. Hmm. Yep, yep. But anyway, um, the reason why I, I didn't go is because I kind of... I, in, in my life, I've never actually been allowed to feel too much, meaning, like, I'm never allowed to rest, I'm never allowed to chill, and I don't know why that is, and my camera cut off, I don't know why it does that, but at any rate, as far as me being sick, I'm like, well, I might as well just keep moving, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep doing this, I gotta keep doing that, because even if I'm sick, it's like, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Do this, do that, do that. Did you do this? Did you do that? Da, 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 da. It's like so much expected of me that I'm never allowed to rest. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you sick. Okay. So anyway, go do this. Go do that. Da, 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 it's like, hello. Like, can I get a minute? It's like I'm not allowed to have that minute to feel. I'm not allowed to have that have that minute to relax. I'm not allowed to have a moment of weakness, a moment of sensitivity. I just always have to be on, and I don't know why. For real, with my um, friend, it turned into, you need to do this, you need to do that, da 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 da, -da. But I just need to figure out, and I don't know if y'all even have the answer, but maybe you can provide me some kind of insight, maybe you can relate, whatever. But what is it about me that makes people think I have absolutely positively no idea what the hell am I, I'm doing with my life? What, what is it? Excuse me. Like, why do you think that? 
I mean, do I look, I look that young, so people like, oh, well, she doesn't know any better, so let me tell her? Or is it that I'm so laid back and I'm so chill that you just think I don't know anything? Like, did you have to tell me what to do with my life as opposed to finding out what I may want to do with my life? Like, every, it's like people around me constantly want to tell me what to do. They want to order me. They want to, they want to be, be my drill sergeant. I'm not in the military. I don't need a drill sergeant. You feel me? And it's like co people constantly are doing that to me, and I don't understand what it is. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, when I tell them, like, look, you know, I got this. Like, I'm not stupid. I understand. I know these things. I am an adult. Then they get upset because I'm, like, telling them, like, look, I, I know what I'm doing. Well, I can't tell you nothing. No, you can tell me, but also you need to realize that I'm an adult. First, what you need to do before you start ordering me and telling me what to do, find out how I feel about it. Find out my thoughts on it. Find out what I may want to do. Find out how I feel. Am I wrong for that? I'm just trying to figure out why people always do that. It could be about the simplest thing, and it's like, why do you think I don't know to do that? It could be, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of something real stupid. Um, alright, say I'm running late somewhere. And I'm telling somebody, yeah, I'm running late, something, something, something. Well, did you call them to tell them you're running late? Am I stupid? A uh, duh, clearly. Like, the problem is with these certain people, they don't know me. And I don't understand how, it's weird how somebody can know you but don't know you. Like, you understand? It's like, you know me for years, but at the same time, you don't know me at all. Because if you did know me, you you would know a lot about me. And you, Like, if you did know me, you would know that I didn't need you to tell me what to do with my life. You would know that I do have I do have a lot of myself together. I really do, despite what you believe, and I don't know why you believe it. But I do have quite a bit of myself together. You know, I'm I'm still growing. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, but I don't I don't get wh what it is. Like, why do people do that? And it may not just be me, but I just want to know what what's the perception? Like, why? Like, am I too chill? Am I too laid back? Do I look like someone who doesn't know what they're doing? <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't get it. So it was just, like, really frustrating. And I made this, like, way shorter than my other video. And I'm probably not even saying half of the stuff that I was saying in the other one. But I know that I'm extremely limited on my camera. And, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, y'all. I just, I don't understand. Maybe y'all can help me out. Like, why is that the case? And I'm just really frustrated about that. Why am I not allowed to have a moment of weakness? Why? Why is it that you think I don't know what I'm doing? And I don't know everything. I don't claim to know everything. But I do know some things. And I don't need people trying to run my life. Like, that's happened my whole life. And at this point, at almost 30 years old, um, I kind of want my life back. You know? I kind of want to run my own life. I kind of want to decide what I want to do. You know, I want to have fun on my own terms. You know? So... Yeah, uh, I I think I'm leaving something out, but I can't even really remember. Um, yeah. Thank you all for listening, those who have tuned in. And I really, I, for real, I really do want some kind of feedback if anybody can relate. And, oh, that's what I was going to say to you. Hopefully I got enough time. Um, let me see. Got a couple minutes. Um, yeah. Um, it's like... This is another thing I don't understand. Sometimes I feel like I'm speaking a foreign language. You ever feel like you're speaking a foreign language to someone because they just don't understand? It's like I have people over here, right? And I'm saying this stuff to them. And they don't get anything that I'm saying. They don't understand it at all. But then I have these other people. I'm saying the exact same thing to them. In the same language. The same dialect. And they get it. And I'm like, yes, you feel me. Yes. I'm just trying to figure out why, why these people over here don't get it. Hmm. Huh? Why they don't understand? But these people over here just, they feel me so much, like, high five. They get it. But these people over here just like, yeah. That's what I wanted to know, too. Like, do y'all have people in your life like that? It's like you, like, it's like you're not even speaking English. Like, they're not grasping not one thing that you're saying out of your mouth. I'm at a point in my life where I feel like only very few people understand me at all. So... On that note, I am Atlas. This is Don't Be Afraid to Think TV. I'm out, y'all.